March is here. The year is cruising along. Are we making the most of the opportunities we get every day? The present is now. Time to turn it over and get into faith. Firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Yet, when we have real faith, we feel absolutely positive about it. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, are we willing to go to any lengths, even to make amends for our past? March 19th, thought for the day. When we were drinking, we used to be ashamed of the past. Remorse is terrible mental punishment. Ashamed of ourselves for the things we've said and done. Afraid to face people because of what they might think of us. Afraid of the consequences of what we did when we were drunk. In Alcoholics Anonymous, we forget about the past. Do I believe that God has forgiven me for everything I've done in the past, no matter how black it was, provided I'm honestly trying to do the right thing today? Meditation for the day. God's spirit is all about you all day long. You have no thoughts, no plans, no impulses, and no emotions that he does not know about. You can hide nothing from him. Do not make your conduct conform only to that of the world and do not depend on the approval or disapproval of others. God sees in secret, but he rewards openly. If you are in harmony with the divine spirit, doing your best to live the way you believe God wants you to live, you will be at peace. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may always feel God's presence. I pray that I may realize this presence constantly all through the day. Alcoholics Anonymous has taught us to not regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it. This means we work through what we did in the past, make amends for those things that hurt others. We make amends by making right what we did wrong to the person and do our best not to do it in the future. We pray on it. We meditate on it. We ask our higher power for forgiveness and the strength to not repeat the behavior. We make living amends to those we cannot contact, whether because they are no longer with us or because to do so would reflect more harm on them. A living amends can be treating everyone around us with love and respect. We pay it forward, which creates harmony in the world, where before we were sources of chaos and confusion. Sometimes our amends means staying away from those certain people we hurt and are willing to do whatever it takes to make it right if confronted. In sobriety and AA, we now travel the earth with the safety and security of our higher power. We have faith that we can start afresh every day, that our past is in our past. It does not define us today if we truly want to make a change. After starting the steps, we are comforted to know we are powerless over alcohol and we have faith there is a higher power that can restore us to sanity. By now, that is enough to change our entire perspective on life. We know we are not in control and we are developing stronger faith in the spirit of the universe that he will never let us down. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, they will always materialize if we work for them. The promises do come true. The work is keeping our will in line with our higher power's will as we understand it. We know our selfishness must be removed and replaced with selflessness. The desire to help others. Again, we pay it forward and we like it. When we do, we feel the presence of our higher power through others. Our days are brighter and we remain grateful. Consider, are we willing to go to any lengths, even to make amends for our past? March 19th, thought for the day. When we were drinking, we used to be ashamed of the past. 
Remorse's terrible mental punishment. Ashamed of ourselves for the things we've said and done. Afraid to face people because of what they might think of us. Afraid of the consequences of what we did when we were drunk. In Alcoholics Anonymous, we forget about the past. Do I believe that God has forgiven me for everything I've done in the past, no matter how black it was, provided I'm honestly trying to do the right thing today? Meditation for the day. God's Spirit is all about you all day long. You have no thoughts, no plans, no impulses, and no emotions that He does not know about. You can hide nothing from Him. Do not make your conduct conform only to that of the world and do not depend on the approval or disapproval of others. God sees in secret, but he rewards openly. If you are in harmony with the divine spirit, doing your best to live the way you believe God wants you to live, you will be at peace. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may always feel God's presence. I pray that I may realize this presence constantly all through the day. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.